guys, it's Megan. It's Sunday morning and I'm gonna get ready with you guys. And of course I have injured myself this weekend. What is a weekend in my life that I am not injured in some idiotic way? And this weekend I burned the shit out of my thumb. So that was fun and now I have all this like cream. I'm actually using this, which I got from an influencer box a few maybe a year ago or so. This is the first degree burn cream. I have almost used this entire bottle because I just keep reapplying and reapplying it and um, it's not like cute to look at but it's not a serious burn so like just using a cream is fine. But yeah, shout out to Influencer. Thank you for that because I don't know what else I would use. Probably like Neosporin or something. But it's like, it's doing pretty well. Last night I was gonna chop off my thumb basically. Um, but I'm going to do a, I don't know, like a smoky look. I The two products that I really want to use are my Burberry Midnight Brown Shadow which I haven't used in forever and it's gorgeous. And I might use my Chanel Mirafique as like liner. And oh, I forgot. I also really wanna use my Chanel Rose Bronze Blush. So I kinda wanna do like a smoky look. And yeah, so we'll see how far I can get without injuring my thumb further because it was nearly impossible to shower. I had my hand like behind my back because the warm water on it just made it hurt so much, but that's a me problem. So I already did my skincare and stuff and I just want to quickly show you this thing that I posted on my Instagram. Um, so this totally encapsulates what I was talking about yesterday with how I love being alone and blah, blah, blah. So I hope that it will focus so you can read it. But it says, I'd love to hang out, but I have to go sit in my house by myself. <laughs> it's so true. I like, I wish you could just say that. Like, I wish you could just be like, I just want to be by myself. And I mean, you can, but people are like, what? So that just perf perfectly depicts what I was saying yesterday in my video. So I've already done my skincare like I said and today I guess I'll use my NARS again. I am not sure still how I feel about this. Do you guys who have this like rub it in with the brush like this or do you like rub it in with your hand? Because I've tried both and I don't know I just don't know. I don't know how much is enough. I don't know how much is too much. I just seem to have so many, so many problems. And now someone's mowing the lawn. Sounds like my dad. Great job. Great job, dad. All right, so now I have that. And I will be t trying this out again. I almost want to buy like the e.l.f. primer or something and just compare that as well because why not? It's like a dollar I think so I might be doing that after my no buy ends. Alright now I am going to put down Sleek and Spice Color Tattoo from Maybelline and this is a perfect color you could use with like light looks or dark looks. But um, especially with the this brown, the midnight brown, I think it'll be gorgeous. Also with the NARS primer, is there like a time that you have to let it sit, like sink in? Because I go immediately and start. And okay, so I'm just gonna say it has been creasing a little bit by the end of the day for me. And like, I don't know if it's just the way I'm applying it. That's why I'm asking so many questions because I really want to give all these a fair shot and use them in the way that they're intended and best used so I can, first of all, know what one actually works for me and also let you guys know in a intelligent way instead of just applying it and doing it how I would do it and just not really thinking it through, I guess. So let me know if you have any tips on the NARS Pro Prime. 
um, and Too Faced Shadow Insurance for that. Okay, I'm then going to take my matte palette from MAC and take Soft Brown. And usually I mix a little bit of Kid in with it. I love this palette. Okay, I honestly never use... What one was this? Because I got two that look similar. I have Brown Script and I have... Oh, this is Swiss Chocolate. I honestly never really use that, but I need to. I want to do more with that color. But soft brown honestly is a must have color. Like I have always heard people say that, but it really is. And it's really nice to have a palette like this that I have with like a neutral um, blending shade, a warm blending shade. And this is Quarry, which is like a purple tone cool blending shade. So I just really love that. Okay, now I'm going to use my Burberry Midnight Brown. And just note that this is the original sheer eyeshadow formula. I didn't try the new wet and dry formula of this particular shade, um, but I didn't like any of the other normal wet and dry shadows. I have since then acquired one of the glow wet and dry shadows, and that is a different story. I'm going to be showing that. Um, I'm gonna do a haul from like March and May because I bought that in March um, and it arrived this month so I've been like hoarding all the stuff that that was kind of the case like that I ordered in March but um, arrived in April what did I say um, so then I can show you guys because I'm gonna buy a few things in May and I'll just do like a big haul but this Midnight Brown is one of the most gorgeous shadows, but I really don't like the new formula of the Burberry shades. I just wish they would have kept it the same. Why do they have to do this to me with the thing I love most in the world? Okay, um, yeah, let's just use Mirafique. So this is an Illusion Dombre by Chanel. It is a fantastic, magical, magical product. I guess I'll use the little brush that comes with it just so like that makes sense so it comes with a little brush that is compact like this and then you just flip it around and you make like the handle out of it and it's just a this one's a little bit messed up but it's just a really thin like synthetic fiber brush but I don't use this when I apply it all over my lid. I only use this if I'm doing liner. So I just kind of like press it in the product and like um, put it on both sides and in the middle. And then I'm just gonna do like a, I'm gonna try to do a small wing. Usually with this I do giant, but I'm gonna try to do just like close to the lashes. And this is gorgeous. This is a deep, rich, beautiful black with silver like glitter and I honestly also wish that they had a black with gold because black with gold is my favorite thing ever like that is my favorite combination and if they ever made that I would buy it for sure so Chanel I'm sure you're watching please make that but this is the most gorgeous gorgeous stuff I hope that you can see it like the shine of it <sighs> it's beautiful and this one my friend Ellie sent me from Norway and I am so grateful for you Ellie because this is so magical and the first illusion dombre that I ever got my friend Jen sent me so I am just spoiled out of my mind by these wonderful makeup friends that I have made who are the only people that would understand buying something so nice for someone else. It's like, anyone else would be like, why can't you just get it at the drugstore or whatever? But no, you have to get Chanel. It's amazing. There is something I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, so today I just have like a few errands to do. My sister has soccer pictures like, for their like playing cards and stuff 
well, they're not playing cards, but you know, like the cards that like say the stats about the players. Like, if I didn't have a sister that was in like high school level sports, I probably wouldn't know that they did that other than in professional sport, like prof professional baseball. But apparently they do it for high school as well. So I'm taking her to that. And then I really want to go to Marshall's because I have a few things. This is like mind blowingly absurd, but I'm gonna do stuff while I tell you this. So what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna do my face. Um, and I'm gonna use my lingerie de Poe again. Oh, I didn't even explain to you why I like this yesterday. So this is the number one. I said Beige Claire, it's Beige Pale. First of all, this packaging is freaking, this is like what they use in like movies. When you see like, like Claire Underwood in her bathroom, like I can just envision this sitting on her counter and you just being like, oh my God, she is perfect. This is the kind of stuff that amazing, beautiful, sophisticated, high-class people have on their vanity. So it makes me feel very important. And it, okay, so this is one pump, which I think is a pretty generous pump. And this is the Real Techniques um, cheek brush from the NYX Pick set. But I have said this before, but if anyone here is new, this is the most natural skin-like foundation I have ever experienced. And I know that it is, oh my god, mind-blowingly expensive. Like, ugh, just insanely expensive. And um, I know that that's not like, I'm not going to say that it's justified to be that expensive. Like, I wish that it wasn't this expensive. But if you are like me and you are constantly on the search for a foundation that actually looks like your skin, like you think that the idea of like medium full coverage is nice, but when you apply those types of foundations on your skin, it just looks so heavy and you don't really want a makeup-y look. You just want a natural skin look. That's what I always am trying to go for. This foundation is... It's that. It just looks like your skin, just more perfect. And it doesn't make it look like extremely perfect. Like it doesn't erase every flaw that you have, which I personally like. I don't want to be so flat. Like I've noticed that when I use something that's really high coverage, I don't even like looking that perfect because it just it makes me look so flat and since maybe it's because I'm so pale it just takes all the life out of my skin and I don't want to apply so many like so much blush or like contour or whatever to bring the life back like I just want it to look like my skin just what is this oh it's some of that Chanel um just more I don't know more perfected but not perfect so hopefully you can see that this is one pump and you can still see like I have a pimple here that's cute and you can still see through to my skin but it looks like skin but it looks just like airbrush I've always said like it looks like in movies where that where they go close up on the actor or actress and you can tell that that's their skin but you know that they're wearing makeup. It looks like that. So if you are like me and that is the kind of look that you're going for, that could be amazing for you. Though it is expensive and I got it because I had like store credit to Sephora and I'm very grateful to that store credit because I Oh my god, it's so expensive, like, insanely. So if you have gift cards or during the November VIB sale, if you want to try it before then and just... Oh my gosh, I have that Chanel all over my hand. Um, just try it beforehand. I got a sample of it from a Sephora order one time, and I am so grateful because it is, like, my... I don't want to say holy grail because it's so expensive, but it is 
probably the best high-end foundation I've ever tried, which I haven't tried them all, obviously. But I don't even want to try a lot because I just love that one so much. Um, but a drugstore, really awesome option, which you guys have heard me talk about, is the Ready Set Gorgeous by CoverGirl. It is so amazing. I love it so much. Okay, I didn't even get to tell you what I was going to tell you because I was too busy blabbing on about this. And now I'm going to have to do something else. Wall, whilst, whilst I am doing this because I am Shakespeare. Um, <laughs> when I was in freshman year of college, I was taking a like higher level English class. Like you had to take a class freshman year. Well, you didn't have to, but um, for like the freshman experience, you were... You had several options and one of them was to take a higher level class um, that was about a topic you were interested in but it was only freshmen so it was like a more intense learning experience but still with only freshmen so you could like make friends and blah 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 and I took a higher level English class that was really intense and I learned so much from it and it's probably one of the best classes I took all four years but we read a lot of Shakespeare like we read so many of his sonnets and I would and we read a bunch of his plays so I I couldn't I have really bad like reading comprehension or something and I don't really get a lot of stuff when I read it like um like stuff like that like Englishy stuff or things in like accents stuff like that whatever so I would read it out loud and I was just in a dorm so it was just me and Chloe and like we had to do everything in our rooms like it wasn't like we were separated and it's not like I could read out loud in the library or something which I hated the library so I wouldn't have gone there anyway um and that was RMS Living Luminizer with Lightscapade from MAC on it and so I would read these Shakespeare things out loud and I would get so into it like I'm really surprised that I never went into theater because I just I just take everything to the next level especially when I'm reading stuff out loud like with myself usually not like with people around but Chloe I was really comfortable around and so I just read it so like elaborately but I could understand everything so much better it was so weird so I don't know. Oh, I said whilst. That's what made me think of all of this. <sighs> oh my god, I have the weirdest connections. Okay, so I'm wear using the Chanel Rose Bronze Blush, which is <sighs> one of the most beautiful blushes in the world. And this is like such a high-end makeup look, but these are some of my favorite products and I just want to use them. And this blush, okay, the only other chanel blush that i really want is jersey um that's something that's on my wish list for like the summer to buy i really really want it um but rose bronze is the only one before jersey that i was even remotely interested in and it smells beautiful it looks beautiful on the face like it just is so gorgeous and this color works all year round because to me, it works with any skin tone because whether you're fair or you're tan or even if you're dark, that it has this beautiful like gold sheen. I don't know if you can see it. This is so, if you can't see it, I'm going to be so sad. But like if you had really deep, beautiful, dark skin, you would see that gold sheen even more, I think. And so my best friend from work, Zuri, she has really deep, beautiful skin. And for her birthday, I got her the um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz, which is a gorgeous, like, deep caramel color. And if you have super dark, like, ebony skin, you have got to try Topaz. It looked so amazing on her skin and I told her like she's not really into makeup but I told her you can use it for eyeshadow as well like it's you don't just have to use it on your cheeks and it just complemented her dark skin so well so if you want to highlight for really dark skin Becca Topaz is like so stunning honestly and I think that this would be really suiting on dark skin as well I'll have to try it on Zuri because we want to have like a makeup play date 
Um, okay, did the face. I wanted to kind of use my um, Shiro, especially the gray one to show you guys, but I honestly don't want it with this look. And I will do a video on all of the Shiro um, products that I got and especially highlighting the um, what are these called? The cheekbone powders um, from the Sherlock collection. I will be doing that. I just have to I just have to be inspired to do it. I don't force myself to do videos. Like I just do what I am inspired to do at the moment. So that might be annoying, but that's how I am. Pretty annoying. Okay, um, brows, Anastasia, tinted brow gel in Auburn. I just dropped it on my floor. Are you people kidding me? <sighs> okay, so I was saying last night after I burned my hand in the stupidest way, um, I, okay, so I was talking to my mom about boy problems what else is new and so we were also making dinner and i went to we were heating up stuff in the microwave and i never use plastic wrap i'm like anti-plastic wrap for some reason like i just don't like it i use if i heat something up in the microwave i just put a paper towel on top of it so my mom uses plastic wrap and i went to stir what was in the microwave and i just like open the plastic wrap like I would with paper towels and I, I'm mid story so I'm being very flamboyant and like crazy and so I go like this and it burns the shit out of my hand and like it was just the most annoying way but I do stuff like that all the time and I swear I am the most unbelievable person like I just I just can't believe myself like 95% of the time I just do the stupidest shit like all the time it's so annoying like I'm constantly annoyed with myself but you know whatever I just I've learned to laugh at it and be like whatever it's just my hand <laughs> like, you know okay so I want to try the Dior show maximizer lash primer um this was something I got for a hundred point perk and I guess I'll use my Dior mascara on top. Why not? Let's go all out with this high end get ready with me. Let's just go for it. So I haven't used a lash primer in years. Like my aunt gave me one as a sample a few years ago from Estee Lauder. And I mean, I thought it was okay, but nothing that I thought was essential. But I've been really intrigued by this Dior one, and I was so glad when I saw it was a 100-point perk. Sephora has had some of the best 100-point perks lately. Like, seriously awesome shiz. Oh my god, that reminds me. Okay, this is something I'm so excited to talk about. I started watching Orphan Black. Oh, I am so excited okay this is my Dior over curl mascara so I signed up for Amazon Prime yesterday um they like sent me an offer for like 50% off and I couldn't pass it up so um I just signed up and all I did was say like yes that I want to do it and they were just like okay you're in like it automatically charged me I thought there was gonna be like a second step like if I was unsure but like I guess once you press it you're in so don't press it accidentally um but then I was like looking on their instant Amazon instant video which is one of the benefits of having Amazon Prime it's like Amazon's version of Netflix and it's the network that that transparent which one best show in the Emmys or something that I watched in like a day um it's on Amazon Prime so there's some really cool exclusive like TV shows on Amazon Prime which includes the second season of Orphan Black so it said what Amazon Prime exclusive means is that it's not on Netflix so I 
currently have Netflix, Hulu, and now Amazon Prime. So basically, any show that I want will be on one of those networks. I don't know how else to call it. Like, I was thinking about this the other day, how, like, television is, like, changing so much and how, like, it used to be and still currently is, like, TV shows that don't get watched, like, live might get canceled because no one's watching it, whatever. But now, I pretty much never watch anything live. Like, the only things we watch live are the news. Well, I personally, my parents watch more. But I pretty much only watch the news sometimes if I want to be depressed because everything on the news is depressing. Or, like, the weather or, like, the traffic. Those are the only things I watch on live TV. Every other show I either watch on demand, like, a few days afterwards, like Backstrom, I always watch on demand because I'm not home when it's on. That's my night of Buffalo Wild Wings on Thursdays. So I always have to watch it like the next day um, on demand. So I don't watch like anything live. And I think a lot of people are like that. So I was just thinking about how like TV ratings and stuff I, I'm sure that they're like thinking about this already and they have been for years but how it just is going to change so much because just because people aren't watching it live doesn't mean it's not like a cult following like they just might be watching it on Amazon or Hulu or whatever. So these are just things I think about mostly because I studied marketing and advertising and it's technology is so intriguing to me. So I just like to think about those things. Um, so this is the Dior Maximizer with Overcurl Mascara. That's good. That's real good. Okay, so I like that. Um, but so I started Orphan Black. <sighs> so obsessed. So, so obsessed. Like, I, I haven't felt this, like, passionate about a show for a while like I really loved United States of Terror like I really love that but this one is like even more complex and I think that it's such a smart show and the main actress Tatiana something she is brilliant she is brilliant like oh my god and it's on BBC so I guess if you live in England or you have BBC, like our TV, we don't have a lot of channels. Um, well, we have a lot, but we don't have all those like really cool extra channels. So we can't watch that, but I know a lot of people do have that. Um, but it is seriously, seriously amazing. And I'm really glad that I got Amazon Prime to give it a shot. So um, there was also like other shows on there that were intriguing to me. Oh, Under the Dome, which was like a mini series on one of the like primetime networks. I really wanted to watch that based on um it's based on a Stephen King novel that I always wanted to read but I never did so I'll probably watch that mini series and there's just other things that were exciting to me that I can't think of right now. But yeah so I'm really excited about Orphan Black and if you like I don't know if you like <sighs> I have a really weird like TV preference like I like stuff all over the board like I like really funny shows like Happy Endings is my favorite show ever um Brooklyn Nine-Nine um what else do I like well I like serious shows I like a lot of serious shows like um Scandal, Revenge those are like my guilty pleasure shows House of Cards, Orange, um Mad Men I am probably missing so many, but if you kind of like like a weird mixture of shows, I think you'll really like Orphan Black and you'll like appreciate it. So, okay, my last thing is lips. What lip product do I want to use? Let's see. What would look good with this? I really want to use one of my Urban Decay lipsticks. These are some of my favorite, favorite lipstick formulas. Okay, these look so similar. This is Rush and this one is Liar. So you can see that they're very similar, just the undertone is different. 
maybe liar. Yeah, I'll do liar because that actually goes really nicely with the tone of the Chanel blush because it's kind of that brown, brownie rose. Oh yeah, that's good. So I love that. Oh wait, did I even tell you what else I was doing today? This was like my mind blowing thing that I was going to talk about, but then I started talking about all these other things. So one of the things I really want to do today is go to Marshall's because I have several things that I've bought over the past few months from there that I have never even used. It's like I bought them on a whim, which everything I buy at Marshall's is on a whim because it's like Marshall's is this land that I get sucked into and I lose all brain power and rationality. And so I have stuff that I bought there months ago that I have never used and I don't see myself using it in the near future. And that scares me. Like I do not want to do that anymore. So I'm gonna um, find my receipts and take them back and return them. It's just like a few like skin skincare things um, that I wouldn't have bought unless they were at Marshall's. Like that is what I need to deal with. Like I really like Marshall's and I think that it's really fun to go there. But what I'm trying to get over right now and what I have been trying to get over but I need to be really more, I need to work on it harder is buying stuff that I don't need and that I haven't wanted. Like I have a constant wish list going that I could put that money towards those things that I've actually wanted instead of getting random stuff that I don't need and haven't wanted. So why am I buying it? Like, yeah, it's fun to buy stuff and it's fun to try stuff out, but wouldn't you rather, I'm talking to myself right now, wouldn't you rather get something that you have wanted for months or years instead of buying this stuff randomly that does add up to basically the same price. So that's where I'm at right now. I really need to evaluate whether I do want to shop at Marshalls in the future unless there's like a specific thing I'm looking for. And that I think is my problem because you never know what you're going to find and that's the fun of it. So I don't know, but I am going to return those few things and it's not like they're bad. I don't even know if they're bad, um, like bad quality. They're obviously not old enough to have gone bad. I wouldn't return them if they were, but like, I don't know why I have so much stuff that I'm not going to use in the near future. So I'm just going to get my money back. But that was something that really struck me last night or something, or I've been thinking about it, just how... Like, I don't want to have so much excess stuff. Like, I just want to have the stuff that I'm using right now. And then when I need new stuff, like when I'm almost running out, I'll go and buy something. I don't want to have so many backups and so many, like, backstock of stuff. Like, I just, that used to not bother me, but now it really, really bothers me. And I don't want to be like that. So, I'm just changing it's the evolution of Megan that you're witnessing, but um, I just thought that that was kind of important to share just in case you guys are feeling the same way about buying stuff. So this is the final look. I really love it. It's just like, it's not the most elaborate look, obviously, but it's a look that I love and it's all products that make me really happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and this would definitely, I would definitely consider a look like this to be a go-to look for me. So, um, I don't know. That's kind of cool. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and you'll probably be seeing this. I don't know. I guess I'll post it today, but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and start your week and I will see you all very soon. Bye.